I like the blue, man. I think the blue is pretty sick. Yeah, it looks good. Um, I wanted the blue over the red. I, the, a red slash was, was my first slash. So anyway, Slayer Pros, it's like an inch longer than the slash. So what's going on with the Slayer Pro? Well, um, one of our tracks up here in Central Oregon, in Lapine, um, it's mostly a 10 scale track. Um, they run a lot of short course, and um, I brought my slash shit down there last time to try to fix it. I almost fixed it. Couldn't quite get it going. I had a couple other e-buggies with me. We still ran all day. It was cool. Everybody had lots of different stuff. There was, there was a good amount of people there. It was like about 10 drivers throughout the day. Um, but um, it's a small track. Uh, I'll put up some video of it soon. Nothing too big. It's really bumpy too. Um, the dirt's real loose. So... Um, I want to run some short course down there and I've already I already have two electric slashes I still have my very first slash from like 12 years ago you know in the bin over there and um, and then I picked up another one Fox edition so um, I think I just need a new um, a new spare gear for it the, the teeth are chomped way down on it I couldn't get it to mesh other than that it should fire up I should be able to run run that um, I'll, I'll get something real quick here. Yeah, man, you know, the RPM bumpers and stuff, those were fun to put on and the Bronco body was, was fun to do. And um, uh, I got eight scale tires on it, and this this truck's a lot of fun. Um, I actually I haven't ran it in a long time, but um, it would um, it would destroy outdrive cups when the 4S power would hit it. So I have lots of spares for it, and um, shit, I think this thing would be pretty fun down at. Down down at our 10 scale track it is a 10 scale track we do run eighth buggy down there but um it most it is a 10 scale track it was built for 10 scales in mind short courses mini truggies um so i think this would be great so um i, I will run this again down there and um i decided to just maybe introduce nitro to some of the folks down there maybe they've never seen it before so um yeah man uh i was i was pretty excited to get this slayer pro a lot um there are some videos about it but not that many really you know and i was just curious i wanted to run short course i already have the electric slashes um but i also wanted to a freaking nitro short course like why not so i mean i'm sure i'm sure the gear is killer i mean we can take a take a look under here i mean lots of other videos show this thing it's brand new right now so i think the first thing i'd like to do is see if i can get the glow plug out i'd like to put some oil in there and um I think I'd like to do some dry heat cycles um, using the easy start and shit I, I might do that right now but I'm gonna keep talking for a second so get this back on there that body back on there so yeah man it's pretty sharp you know um this thing will get dirty what I like about my race kits is it's easy to pop the engine and electronics out everything's really wide apart spread apart 
and for the most part race kits are really easy to clean you can pull all your shit out so uh, with this platform here pop this back off <laughs> um, you know we'll see how it goes after I get this totally thrashed with m dirt no no mud come on no mud but um you know we'll see how it holds up this is part one I'm gonna do three parts to the uh, Slayer Pro video here. Part one is just what we'll do tonight, talk about it. I'll see if I can get this glow plug out and hook up the easy start and get this engine to spin over and see if I can do two dry heat cycles tonight. Getting the engine up to 200 degrees, oil, a couple drops of 3-in-1 um, or the Nova Rossi engine oil in there, and um, see if that easy start will work. Um, these these models, it doesn't look like it's really made to take apart, okay? So, you know, we'll just see. I mean, it's not the only model. When I run this, I'll have other cars with me. I don't want to... I kind of want to take it easy with it, you know? And, and just get it around our course down there and just have fun with it. I mean, if it can haul ass, cool. I have cars that do haul ass down there, you know, the e-buggies fucking fly down there they're killer this is just an alternative man maybe i'm also curious i'm also curious how loud these 3.3 motors are maybe they don't have as much rpm so maybe maybe you know maybe these traxxas engines are a good like kind of medium volume thing that you know, you can run pretty much anywhere. That's what I'm really curious about. I'm really curious about the volume this thing puts out. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm super stoked to run it and just run it around the track and have fun. Um, we, uh, last time we ran down there, we just did like two, three lap races of calm shootouts and we just, just did shootouts all day and just short, little races where we were watching our cars the whole time and just did like, you know, just a few laps and we bring it in and, and just chill out. It was a lot of fun. Um, running in very loose dirt here in central Oregon. Um, it does something to our fans in our, um, here's my, uh, Here's my MP10 e-buggy. It was killer. Here's Cindy's little clever um, cover there she made for us. But we have this dirt here that still gets in there, and I think it has some iron in it, and it just sucks right to the fan. So basically, we can't run fans down there. All right? So you have electric cars that pretty much can't run fans. It's kind of a problem. I mean, no matter what you do, your fans just get thrashed with this dirt we have. It's got like little pieces of metal in it, little pieces of iron, I think. And no matter what, your fans just get get thrashed with it. I mean, we blow them out, we switch them out, but if, you, if you're trying to run fans, all you'll do all day down there is switch out fans. You won't run. So that's another reason why I thought, hey man, why not pick up a, you know, pick up a pick up a nitro and see what's up now. Um, but at the same time, I wanted something kind of identifiable with everybody else. A lot of short course trucks, so just perhaps a nitro short course truck will just kind of blend in, and um, it won't be like a full on eight scale race nitro buggy or truggy, you know. Um, it's just not that type of shit down there. <laughs> it's so yeah, man. I figured this was a good, might be a good kind of halfway point. It might introduce some people to nitro. I get to run short course, but also I get to run a vehicle that doesn't have to rely on cooling by fans. So I'm excited about that. Maybe this thing will just chomp lap after lap after lap, and I just won't be worried about it getting hot because fans aren't working. So that was, that was cool. Um, 
I uh, I got a fat ass discount on it. I had eighty dollars in my A main bucks, so I got a huge price chop on it. And I was just like, let's do it, man. Let's make Nitro great again. Let's make Nitro great again. You know, absolutely. Um, uh, after listening to Hybrid for the past few months, yeah, he was a big a big um, influence in me thinking about picking one of these up. I mean, if if this contributes to, you know, I any corporation saying, hey man, people are into Nitro, then, that, then l let's do it, you know? Let's, let's support Nitro. I have a whole ton of race shit already. I'm already supporting Nitro in that regard. It's weird to go, um, I never thought I would pick up another Traxxas vehicle again, not because like I was pissed at my other slashes, I'm not, I just hadn't really ran them, but um, our community track, our only community track, other than the backyard tracks we have, but our only community track where we can just show up and just, you know, just show up there by ourselves. there's a track, we need water, but... I mean, our only community track pretty much is a 10 scale place. So that's cool. That's all right. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to run this. Um, it comes with lots of tools and I mean, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. You know, it looks bitching. I'm excited to run it. Um, again, it might, I was tripping out at like, going back to buying a, an RTR 10 scale short course truck like it seems like a weird move but I mean if if everything works out and I can run this thing a shitload down at Roslyn then to me that's goal <laughs> you know and I think I can I don't see why not so I'm really excited to do that as well as running our e-buggies um, 10 scale truggies Lots of short course trucks, and um, yeah, man, just the, the community track, you know, just rung what you rung, and I'm fucking bringing that. So, um, I'm gonna um, see if I can pop this glow plug off and um, use my uh, heat gun right here, the old Ryobi. If I plug a heat gun into my outlets in my house, it shuts shit down. I put some oil in there, just a few drops. Nova engine oil. And um, I did go ahead and do the easy start just now. When I popped the uh, glow plug out, it was kind of hard to tell what bottom dead center on this 3.3 was. So I'm gonna get it really hot again, turn it over, and I'm going to pop that plug back out to see if I can actually see if I'm letting this thing chill at bottom dead center. Alright, so here's the easy start. Just a little more heat. Get this thing really hot. It's pretty hot already. So due to the one-way bearing, I think the flywheel only goes one way. Yeah, I hadn't used one-way bearings in a while. And so, um, I guess it's, uh, they only go, your, your, your piston can only go one way. It can't go the other way to find bottom dead center. So that is a factor. Um, I'm going to let it cool down right now, and uh, that's pretty much just a dry heat cycle. 
and um, hopefully I'll be able to do maybe one heat cycle on Saturday. I'm going to take off for a trip here in a couple days, but um, so that's it so far. This will just be part one of um, the Slayer Pro. Part two will just be I'll have to take a day and break this thing in proper. I just wanted to get into it tonight, pop the glow plug off, run a dry heat cycle, and see what's up. All right, the piston is back at the bottom. Um, it's pretty hard popping that glow plug in and out, removing that easy start wire. Um, you know, hopefully that's not something I'll have to do out in the field. It's tough to remove glow plugs from any engine. It's it's pretty hard to remove it from that 3.3 though. The the easy start wire is a bit fiddly to get it on and off. So, but it's cool. That's that's already one thing I was curious about. I was super curious about all the aspects of this model. So, um, yeah, I ran a dry heat cycle. I mean, the book doesn't say to do it, but I did it. I'm just gonna do one. I'm gonna put the glow plug back in there. And I might have to wait a couple weeks now when I get back from Arizona to start uh, breaking in the sin. Um, I'll take a full day to do that. I look forward to doing that. And um, yeah, man. But overall, um, pretty stoked to get this thing out there and and uh, start ripping it. It's been a long time since I've broken in an engine by myself. I usually send them out to RC Renew, which I will when I get other normal full-on race engines. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, that's about it. So let me go ahead and put this away. Call it a night.